Hello everyone, welcome to another video, I hope you're doing well. Today we are talking about a method of setting up and cycling a new planted tank that requires almost no effort, but will give you a much better chance of success in setting up a stable aquarium and avoiding algae. This method is especially useful for people who are using some sort of aquasol or other nutrient rich substrate. But if you are using an inert substrate, this method will benefit you as well. The main problem with aquasol is that it releases a lot of ammonia in the beginning. We all know that ammonia is toxic for our fish, but it can also melt sensitive plants, especially plants that come from an in vitro cup. But also plants like Bush of Landra do not like high ammonia levels in the water column. To avoid all these issues, we have to do a lot of water changes in the beginning. And it depends a little bit on the brand of aquasol, but the general rule is a 50% water change every day in the first week, every other day in the second week, every three days in the third week, and after four weeks, once a week is just fine. So that's a lot of water changes. And not only is that a lot of work, it's also very wasteful to use this much water. Now what if we could avoid doing all those water changes and we could avoid the risk of plants melting because of high ammonia levels? Let me introduce you to the dark start method. The dark start method is very simple. It only requires a little bit of patience. We are basically just going to cycle our tank without plants. So we set up our tank as normal, we add our substrate, then we build our hardscape, then we fill it with water, install a filter, but then we stop. So we don't add any plants, we don't add any light, and we don't add any CO2. And most importantly, we don't do any water changes. You can do a few water changes if you want to, but it is not necessary. The only thing we have to do is wait. And how long? Well, to get the most benefits, I would say wait at least 3 weeks. After those 3 weeks, we drain the aquarium completely, then we add all the plants, we fill it back up, install the CO2 and the lights, and it's done. Now let's talk about the benefits of the dark start. And trust me, there are a lot of benefits, so pay close attention. Number one, no water changes. So we don't have to do all those daily water changes, which saves us a lot of time and a lot of water. Number two, less chance of plants melting. After three weeks, most of the ammonia has already been removed from the soil. And in those three weeks, we have also developed a good number of beneficial bacteria that will transform any leftover ammonia into nitrates. Number three, less chance of algae. Ammonia is a great trigger for algae, but because the aquarium hasn't seen any light in the past three weeks, the algae never got a chance to develop. Number four, we can immediately add fish. Normally after you plant your aquarium, you still have to wait before you can add the fish. But now that the tank is already cycled, the fish can go in straight away. Number five, waste organics are processed faster. Those beneficial bacteria that have been growing in the filter and the substrate for the past three weeks will help us in processing waste organics and in return minimize our chances of getting algae. Number six, plants will grow and adapt faster. When you don't perform a dark start, you will very likely get some diatomaceous algae or green dust algae after two or three weeks. If your plants get covered with these algae, they will hinder their growth and they will take a longer time to adapt. Every time I did a dark start, I had a lot less issues with diatoms and green dust algae. I might still get some algae, but since the tank is already cycled, I can immediately add my algae cleanup crew. Number seven, less problems with hardscape. Do you know that type of driftwood that grows this filthy, slimy, fungus looking layer after you submerge it? And did you ever have your plants melt because they came in contact with that fungus? Yeah, I did. But if you use this driftwood and you do go for a dark start, you don't have to worry about that either. If there's any fungus left after three weeks, 
you can clean it all up before you start planting. And number eight, the dark start method will save you money. You will save money by not having to use that much water for all your water changes and you will save money by not having to replace plants that melted because of the ammonia. Okay, so that's a lot of benefits. I'm sure you're wondering if there are any downsides. Well, for me personally, I can only think of one downside, and that is the waiting. Staring at a dark aquarium for three weeks is not the most fun thing to do, but if it gives me less headache with algae and dying plants and daily water changes, I think it's definitely worth considering. Now I know this method might raise more questions, so let me try to answer a few of them already. Question number one, do we need to cover the aquarium? If you leave the aquarium lights off, you really shouldn't have to be worried about getting algae during the dark start. So unless you have a ton of ambient light, there is no need to cover the aquarium. Question number two, do I need to add bacteria? Adding beneficial bacteria is always a good thing. But too often I see people use it as a quick fix, so they can add plants and fish faster. Personally, I would still stick to the recommended three weeks. Question number three, I can't measure any ammonia. Is my dark start complete? Technically, if you do a water test and ammonia is zero and nitrites are zero, but you do measure nitrates, that means the ammonia cycle is complete. Sometimes this will take longer and sometimes it can happen quite quickly. And question number four, I'm not using Aquasol, should I still do a dark start? If you're not using Aquasol, then there is no need for daily water changes. So should you still do a dark start? I would say yes. All the other benefits that I mentioned still apply even if you don't have soil. And if you want to, you can add ammonia manually to feed your beneficial bacteria. All right, that is everything I have on the dark start method. I'm curious to know if you tried this method already or if you are planning to. And if you have any more questions about this method, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.